and it's taking a fair bit of line. Whoa, 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 whoa. guys welcome to bearded hooker uk this is a rebranded channel from big fishing energy because i've not made a video in about three years and i want to start again so we're turning over a new leaf starting afresh uh, with a new name and a new logo and everything and yeah this is my first session of 2024 just doing some traditional tactics fishing at my local pond which is red lane fishery and seeing what we can catch on some maggots it's quite a chilly day but it's a bit milder than what we've had so i'm hoping we get something um yeah let's show you the peg so this is the peg that we're fishing today peg number 18 lovely color blue this lake yeah it's the corner peg so we've got loads of nice margins down here a nice bit of open water got some margins to this side as well plenty of options to fish today it's quite still a little bit gusty but hopefully we'll get some fish so i'll just run you through the rig i'm using today so we're starting off um with a, a center pin reel Nice traditional tactics, simply because I enjoy using it. Now, there's no advantage to using it really on this sort of lake, but I just enjoy fishing with a, a nice center pin reel. Um, just a standard float fishing rod. It's a white knuckle carp waggler um, from Midi Tackle, I believe. Yeah, it's a Midi rod. It's all right. Um, and onto the actual rig itself. Starting at the float. We have got uh, just a little short pole float nice and light to detect those fine bites from smaller fish um, a bit of shot just kind of between the float and the hook length and all the way down got a shot kind of maybe one foot hook length and if you can see that and then finishing up with a nice little size 18 hook gonna be fishing single maggots I think today I've already plumbed the depth um, it is that deep <laughs> if you can tell I don't know maybe two and a half foot in the margins so not too deep uh, yeah, let's see if we can catch some fish. First chuck. Let's see if we can get something on the first cast. That'd be nice, wouldn't it? thinking about it oh there we go beautiful beautiful fish first cast that's what we like to see nice little roach good quality put him back So it's so far so good. We had another little roach just off camera. Uh, the sun is trying to come out, I think, between the trees, um, but the wind is also still kind of trying to be windy. <laughs> so I think what the plan is, we're going to stick on maggots, see if we can build up like a bit of a feeding zone, get a few more little tiddlers, and then we might stick on uh, a pellet or two and try and entice some bigger fish, maybe a carp. Um, that might be wishful thinking though of it being so cold, but you never know. So yeah, let's see how we get on. First session of year, I know we're forgetting something, but luckily I've got a really good wife who brought me my landing mat, so uh, I can now safely try and catch some bigger fish. <laughs> yeah, I would definitely not be trying to catch any carp without a landing mat because fish care has always got to come first, because if there's no good fish to catch, then what are we doing this for? Let's see if we can get another one on camera, shall we? That wind is not making it easy, but we persevere. Yeah, the wind is not ideal at all. Just feeding in some little two mil micro pellets. But you don't want to feed in too much on this lake. They're not a big fan of that. Oh, bite there. Oh, go on then. Go on. As soon as I turn the camera off, 
Catch a fish straight away, of course. Little roach again. Lively one. Game unhooked. There we are. Just a nice little roach. Put him back. We go again. All right, we just got uh, the biggest fish of the day. Not a monster, by any means, but for this nice, uh, nice roach. Good quality fish. Had to use the net on him. Let's get him back safely. They're getting bigger, it's a good sign. Just caught my sixth fish of the day, and it's a different species. This is a gudgeon. You can see that, uh, flip him over. Lovely little gudgeon. I've not caught a gudgeon in ages. These are awesome little fish. It's quite big for a gudgeon though, actually. So yeah, let's put him back nice and safe. Awesome stuff, yeah, fish number six. Um, the wind's died off a little bit now. Uh, still a bit chilly, but we're doing all right. We're doing good. It's my first decent fish of the day. Did not even realise I had a fish on. <laughs> oh. All right, and it is a nice big perch. Hook came out in the net. Look at that for a perch. That's not a bad fish at all. I do like a perch. I've not caught a perch in a while, actually. But yeah, it's a lovely fish. Maybe about half a pound. But yeah, biggest fish of the day. Didn't even know it was on. Nice one. Let's put him back. All right, the weather is weathering again. It's starting to drizzle a bit and the wind's picked up, so put me with the jacket on. Um, Going to pack the camera down for a little bit just while the drizzle sort of passes. Um, yeah, so hopefully you'll see me uh, in the next sort of frame frantically getting my camera out because I've got a massive fish on that I want to film. So yeah, I'll see you after the drizzle. I told you I packed my camera away and then land a big fish. It's an eyed. Nice little eyed, probably about one and a half pound, two pound. Same tactics. Lovely fish. Put him back. Typical, isn't it? So as soon as I turn the camera off, that's when the big fish start to show up. So you saw the other ride I caught on my phone camera. And now I've just caught another ride. If he's gonna behave. It's not a bad eye at all. That's about two pound. Same tactics, single maggot just on the side. Absolutely beautiful fish. Look at this guy, huge mouth, nice dark red coloration, bronzy silver color, gorgeous fish. Let's put him back nice and safe. Straight back to the depths. That was fish number 10 as well, so we're into double figures now, which is cool. Um, it's getting cold. Um, that's the train going past that you can hear. Um, but yeah, absolutely amazing session. Really good mixed bag. And the bigger fish are starting to move in, which again is a great sign. Um, and the drizzle stopped, so I can keep the camera out and hopefully we can catch some more bigger fish uh, on camera, which would be great. Now the drizzle stopped a little bit. Let's see if we can catch another fish on camera. Just fishing down there in the margin, it's just, to, just on the rod tip. It's where I've been fishing pretty much all day. A little bit closer to the, oh, and he's on, yes. We got him. Nice little, uh, little roach. There he is, fish number 13. Alright, I've got something on here. 
just as I was about to pack up. It's taking line. Come on. Really don't want to lose this now. It feels quite big. I'm not seeing it yet. Could be another ride. Like I said before, I'm only fishing quite light, so I want to be really careful not to snap. <laughs> The beauty about having a sense pin reel, you can just use your thumb to let it take as much line as you want. And it's taking a fair bit of line. Whoa, 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 whoa. Oh, no. Yeah, snapped off as well. That's really annoying. Is that one nice and big, that? Never mind. You win some, you lose some. I think I'm going to call it a day there. And I'm back home after the first session of 2024, which was actually really, really good. I was really surprised because, like I said before, the red lane fishery, it can, it has its off days, but when it's on, it's on. And today it was on, and I didn't know that it would be because we've had such cold weather recently. And uh, it, it was, it, conditions were actually quite good today, but it was windy, so it was kind of hard to see bites sometimes. Um, but yeah, absolutely great session well i was down there for about three hours managed 15 fish um got the two eyed uh, biggest were about two pound i uh, got a nice perch uh and yeah it just got snapped off right at the end by i didn't actually see the fish but i was fighting it for a while but it, it just wanted to keep taking line and yeah it, I, I was only fishing light but i was being really really careful to not lose that fish but if a fish is going to break off it, it's going to break off so unfortunately did not get that. Don't know what it was, but I think it was big. Um, and yeah, a really good session to kick off the year. Um, uh, a good session for the, the first video of Bearded Hooker UK as well. Uh, we've done the rebrand. Uh, and that is, that's it, yeah. I really hope that you have enjoyed the, uh, the video. If you do enjoy it, leave a like, subscribe. Let me know in the comments what sort of fishing content you want. If you want any outdoorsy sort of content, if there's any venues you want me to go to, just put them in the comments below. Uh, you can follow me on Instagram as well. The handle is on screen now. And that is it. So until next time, tight lines. See you in the next video.